Brent Thomas, congratulations. You've made it into the third and final round of this competition. Now we're sending you back to your home forges to recreate this iconic weapon from history. The Tizona del Cid. Oh my. What is that? Looking at the blade, I see this super ornate guard and pummel, and I'm thinking, how can I get all this detail into it and make it strong and functional? Good luck, bladesmiths. We'll see you in four days. Good luck, brother. Good luck. Today, I have to make El Cid's to Zona. I'm getting the tang drawn out, but I noticed the tang is getting twisted and I'm, I'm really worried at this point because this could cause a lot of stress. I will definitely have a little catching up to do tomorrow. We're here in West Virginia. Let's get these burners burning. El Cid's blade is a very light blade. But I'm really concerned about how I'm going to keep it at that weight. After a few hours of forging, I finally have my piece at the length. Climb up on my little steppy stool, and uh, I can barely get the tip of this blade into the quench. Quench went all right. Tomorrow, I'll move on to the pretty stuff. It's day two, and I am going to start over. It's pedal to the metal. i got to hurry. I absolutely need to quench this blade tonight, or I am going to be drastically behind. So I've got my blade forged out to the shape I want. I'm leaving my tang thicker than I need so that as I'm holding this gigantic long piece, it doesn't bend at the tang. Today, I got my blade forged and quenched. So happy. Today's main goal is to get the guard assembly. A lot of artistic work involved with this piece. This is the kind of work I'm really used to, uh, these little small twists and bends, basic blacksmithing. So I've got all my welding done now. It's time to clean this thing up on the grinder. That is beautiful. I love that. Right now, I've got the majority of my guard constructed. I have to add a little crossbar to weld on as a cross guard. For the pummel, I plan on just cutting a little cone out. I got it nice and sharp. My fit and finish isn't perfect, but I made this sword in three days. So even if you feel like you can't do it, just give it a shot. You really never know what's going to happen. Here we are, the last day of this build. Uh, everything's progressed nicely so far. Now I'm going to start the mustard patina process. Basically, the vinegar in the mustard reacts to high carbon steel. The blade begins to slightly rust and wipe it off, and you have a nice little outline of where your mustard was. All right, I am very, very, very happy with that. That is wild. Before I see this blade off, I've just got to test it one time. And the blade just passes right through like hot butter. Eat your heart out, El Cid. I got it done. All right, Bladesmiths, welcome to the keel test. To find out what kind of lethal damage your weapons will do, I will take your weapon, deliver some slashes and thrusts on this boar carcass. Brent, you're up first. You ready for this? Oh, yeah, let's do it so my knees will stop shaking. All right, let's do this. All right, Brett, let's talk about your Tizona here. The balance of this blade allows me to really move around with it. And it's a very sharp edge. Overall, this weapon is one that you can move and bring to combat, and it will kill. Thank you, sir. Good job. All right, Thomas, your turn. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, let's do this. Your tip thrust easy and cuts on the way out. And your edge, as you can see, same number of cuts cut all the way through. Your first sword, it will kill. Good job. Thank you.
It's okay to be thrilled, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> All right, gentlemen, it's time for the strength test, the armored chop. To test the strength and overall construction of your blades, I'll be chopping into our armored knights here. Brent, you're up first. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, Brent, you've got a couple of chips and rolls. I don't know that it'll affect the performance of your blade. It's still sharp. As far as the design of your blade, that's a very slick handle. I like to not be able to do that as easily. But you did good. Strong sword, one piece. Good job. Thank you. Tomas, are you ready? I'm ready. Swing away. All right, Thomas, this has a really fine edge to it. And where it made contact, there are multiple rolls. Uh, it's that super fine edge just being pushed over as it hits that armor. It's an amazingly light sword for as wide as that is. That, that's very good work. I mean, it's a very broad blade, and it's got a very light feel to it. The handle on this, the wrapping on there, yeah, it gives a good grip. It felt really good in my hand. Bottom line? It's a strong sword, held up beautifully. Good job. Thank you. All right, bladesmiths. This is the sharpness test, the fish slice. To test the edge of your weapon, I will slash away at these salmons. Brent, you're up first. You ready? Let's do it. Do this. All right, let's talk about your sword here. Cut all the way through the fish, except for that. It's a sharp edge. All the cuts here are very clean. Overall, sir, it will cut. Awesome, thank you. All right, Thomas, ready for sushi? I am ready. Let's do this. It's really down to the wire at this point. If my blade doesn't perform as well as Brent's, I'm definitely out of this competition. All right, Thomas, every cut was clean all the way through. Once again, the edge here, despite some of the rolls it took earlier, have no issues in performance and quality of cuts. Overall, sir, it will cut. All right, bladesmiths, the new Forged and Fire champion is. Brent, congratulations. You're the new Forged and Fire champion. Thomas, unfortunately, a setback in your home forge cost you a little bit of detail when it came to your final product. And for that reason, please leave the forge. I'm super disappointed that I didn't win. But I came out here, I made a knife with a drum set, I made a sword for the first time. I'm just so proud of myself for having taken the risk, putting myself outside of my comfort zone. And right now, I feel like a rock star. Brent, congratulations. You are the Forged and Fire champion, and that's a title that comes with a check for $10,000. Good job, my friend. Oh, it feels amazing. The adrenaline right now is just through the friggin' roof. I'd like to thank God for this opportunity, my wife for her support. Just thank you, everyone. I have trouble containing everything. There's so many emotions inside right now that I just want to let them all out. Yeah!